Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got basketball. I'm Damon Bruce. Honey, I love you, but not any more than the NBA. I'm ready for some basketball on Valentine's Day. It'll be Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls facing off against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Tip-off is moments away. Welcome to Quicken Loans Arena. We're in downtown Cleveland, the home of the Cavaliers, where we're going to be broadcasting today's action live. We're bringing you the game that always has heart, especially on Valentine's Day. This is Kevin Harlan here with Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg on 2K Sports. Brought to you by State Farm. Let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Carlos Boozer and Joaquin Noah, they're inside. Rip Hamilton out there with Derrick Rose. And it's Butler in at the small forward position. And for Cleveland... Jamison and Verizhao in the middle. Then there's Ramon Sessions. Then there's Caspi. And it's Irving at the one spot. Now here's Jamison. And here's Sessions. Wide open look. And he knocks down the jumper. And so here is Chicago. Yep, I think it's pretty clear. The higher you get, the harder the fall is to the bottom in the Cavs found that out last year as they tried to rebuild and it was as unpleasant as a season could be. Paul Hamilton defending. Sessions against Hamilton. The high post shot and that one's good. Sessions. Top to bottom, uh, no pun intended, it was horrible for the Cavs. First time team goes from the best record to the worst record in a year. Steve, that was a, uh, that's a dubious distinction. Well, we all know why it happened. I mean, it's, it's based on one man, LeBron James, so talented, such a great player. Once he was gone, basically the entire foundation fell apart for Cleveland. So uh, we'll see what happens as they attempt to rebuild without their star. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Byron Scott. He told me they'll be looking to stretch the opposing defense and open things up by using their ability to knock down long-range shots. Success from the perimeter will translate to success on the inside. Those were his words to me, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Doris. I definitely can appreciate their approach with the three ball. And here's Sessions, following the three-pointer by Derrick Rose. All alone. And that one's good, Irving. Irving's got his first points in this one. Four makes on four tries. Everything's falling early. 100% can't do better than that. Got that bucket in in no time at all. I love how relentless he is. I mean, he just continues to come at you all night. Well, and you knew it was coming for Derrick Rose. Already a great player, but he took a huge step forward last season. Probably became the best point guard in the NBA. Phenomenal campaign for the Chicago Bulls. It really improved his three-point shot. which was just amazing. And we've got an injury out on the floor. Very unfortunate as always, guys. Uh, don't like to see this. Now let's just hope it's a bump or a bruise and that he's back out on the floor soon. You know, see, just one of those things. It, it does happen in, in the course of battle. We'll see. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Iengas checked in, and Daniel Gibson subbed in for Irving. We're talking about Rose, and Steve just talked about some of the things that he thinks about him and his rise to stardom. And Clark, he's had all the tools since day one. But he really obviously put it all together last season. What was an MVP, very special season. Do you, do you think right now he is the best point guard in the league? I don't know if I'd say he's the best. He's certainly in that category, no doubt. He's a different type of point guard. But when you look at his athleticism, his size, his speed, love his demeanor. And he's so young, you can continue to see him grow and develop. But certainly you've got to talk about Chris Paul, Darren Williams. It's a matter of what flavor you like in your point guard. Sure. He's blown. Now a strike slam camp to replay that one. You gotta be willing to put a body in front of him there. Easy move. But you know what? I don't blame him. That's a lot of body coming at him.
three-pointer. And the Bulls, another three. That's four of five to start this game, guys. He's rolling. Cavaliers leading. Gibson with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. Shots good by Gibson. Yeah, they're not going to miss too many of those. That's high percentage stuff there. You know, the Bulls were a tough team while traveling last season and ended up with the second most road wins in the Eastern Conference, trailing only the Miami Heat. Even numbers, four on four. It's stolen by Rose. Rose, 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 Rose. Defended by Gibson. Rose gets to Corbin. Launches it. Gets it to go. It's a tie ball game. Clark talking about the Bulls on the road. They got those 26 road wins by, I think, getting really tough. Mm -hmm. Well, they're such a good rebounding team, guys. And when you rebound on the road, it gives you a chance to win. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Just a disastrous season a year ago for the Cavaliers, losing LeBron James and then, of course, plummeting in the standings. And they really struggled at home, too. Just 12 wins total at Quicken Loans Arena. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Hollins has checked in, and Irving subbed in for Sessions. Chicago also making some changes. Ashik has checked in for Noah. Gibson comes in for Carlos Boozer. And it's Dang in for Butler. Irving. Good! Back to the Cavs, Steve. Not exactly how they wanted to start off their new era without LeBron. No question about it, Kevin. I mean, they got pummeled at home. That's never any fun. And, and even teams that know they aren't full of talent need to step up and at least play better at home. And it wasn't the case. And, you know, Varejao being hurt really impacted that home record. Now, he wouldn't have made a significant difference, but he would have made a difference if he was healthy. You know the Cavs played well against last year was the New York Knicks? Well, there's always a team that sure. a poor team plays well against. For some reason, the matchups are favorable, and, and they've got that team's number. The three from Porter. That one goes. Count it. Six points for him. And he gets a three of his own. Good answer there. Yeah, and he's not scared to trade shots like that. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. That's good. It has been all offense here early. It sure has been. I mean, both teams clicking, and it's been an entertaining game as well, guys. They get it back. The stupendous finish in trap. How about the energy he puts into crashing the boards, guys? Irving kicks to Gibson. From 20 feet out, again the Cavaliers score. Well, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. Bring an extra defender and force somebody else to beat you. I agree with you. Make him give it up. From deep, well, he went right down as the buzzer sounds. Yep, and that's the most exciting play in basketball, guys. The buzzer beater. Unbelievable. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Cavaliers lead by one. Well, the thing they tried to establish right, right away was the presence down low. You look at the points in the paint. I think that's been the difference. Yeah, and I like the fact, Steve, that they're not settling for the outside shots. I mean, go in there and get what you want. Keep attacking the rim. And we'll return momentarily. our Valentine's Day broadcast. Glad to have you with us. Here is Watson. They've got Samardo Samuels. He's out there with Casper. Anthony Parker out there with Anderson Barajal. And it's Irving at the point guard position. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make him put it on the floor. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Hey, Kevin. Well, Daniel Gibson had his best season yet last year and solidified his standing as a dependable shooter off the bench. Coach Byron Scott said he makes shots. He has a good basketball IQ, but the thing I love about him is his competitive nature. He gets after people. He's tough-minded. 
He's a tough little physical player. We know that Coach Scott values that toughness, guys. Sounds like he made a big impression. Thanks, Doris. Watson dishes to a sheath. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And if their last five makes all have been from the ring. They're hanging back, playing on their heels. They're not being the aggressors here. The offense is taking advantage of. Wherever he's been, Byron Scott has had success. I mean, he took the Nets to back-to-back -back NBA Finals appearances and, and helped the Hornets get back on track as well. His winning track record was just what Cleveland wanted when they brought him in to be their head coach. Watson gets the reach-in call. That's his first five. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Hollins has checked in, and Sessions subbed in for Anthony Parker. Ryan Hollins. From home Sessions. Here is Sessions. He has six. Dishes it to Irving. Back in off the glass. And it's a tie ball game. Even though they had a rough year, Byron Scott. Steve knows how to get a team turned around. And when the Cavs lost LeBron James last year, they knew it was going to be tough. So Byron came in, did a nice job of establishing a program, establishing a style, and really keeping things moving forward as the season went along. It was a tough season for everybody, but I thought Byron Scott did a nice job kind of keeping them afloat. Chicago with the ball. Puts up a three. Dang with the bucket. Now it's a five-point Bulls lead. Another open look hits bottom from outside. Yeah, and that's three of their last five makes from beyond the arc. You look at when the Bulls' fortunes turned. I mean, getting that ping-pong ball to bounce their way in 2008, which ended up being Derrick Rose. That's a player that can change the direction of your franchise in a hurry, and he has. Here is Watson. He's picked up by Irvin. Here's Dang. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Clark, back to the point you made. Seems to be how it always Steve, works out for the Chicago Bulls. Well, how about the odds of them getting Derrick Rose? About 1.7%. So they got lucky, but they took advantage. And Chicago has really built its team around Derrick Rose. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Well, despite the fact that the Central Division might have been the weakest division in the NBA last year, Cleveland managed to only go 3-13 and 13 against their division rivals. So both teams making some changes here. Here is Sessions. Six points for him. Three for Caspi. That falls. Great assist by Ramon Sessions. Sessions got four assists in the game. And that record isn't going to cut it for division play. No, they actually did worse against their own division than they did against the rest of the league, Kevin. That's a heck of a feat for a team with the worst record in the NBA. I mean, not the kind of honor and distinction that you want. Here's Sessions. The feed to Gibson. He feeds it to Casper. Back to Gibson. Feeds it to Casper. Five on the clock. His first shot coming late. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. 133 left in the first half of basketball. Jameson was having a, an up and down year. He rose, throws it down hard. Here's another look with the Sprite Slam Cam. There isn't anybody in the building that didn't appreciate
appreciate that throwdown. Well, Steve, that's as fancy a finish as you could possibly get. A serious degree of difficulty on that one. Now Sessions. There's the pass to Caspi. Jameson inside, defended by Butler. Shot clock at six. Nice shot by Jameson. Guys, you're not going to get away with that kind of defense when he's got the ball. I mean, you've got to do better than that. Here's Pogans, and the Bulls, another three. And an easy look from outside. You can't give him that much time and space. No, and that's been a theme here tonight. Right? They're going to have to do a better job of closing out and getting a hand up on three-point shooting. Nice shot by Jameson. He was really a non-factor in that first quarter. But he's found a way to step it up here. In low to Boozer. He's up against Jameson. Right up. And that one's good, Boozer. Boozer's got his first bucket in this one. The Cavaliers trail by six. Sessions passes to Jameson. That falls. Great assist by Ramon Sessions. Sessions got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Butler. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Butler's got himself on the board with three there. And here are the Cavaliers. Six-point game. Alley-oop pass. Oh, and a nice defensive play to interrupt the alley-oop. Looks like they're going to hold on to the ball and go for the last shot of the quarter. Well, clearly this... Oh! Boy, he's got enough hang time there to put a little something extra on that one. Two scoops of ice cream after that. <laughs> well, that's a play that's going to be remembered from this game, that's for sure. I think that was more like a banana split, Clark. <laughs> Here's Gibson. No one on him, and he makes the easy one. Gibson's got eight. He could go. Good! Ooh, wee, Kevin. That was a big shot to extend their lead and send them into halftime with momentum. And so that's the end of the first half. And we'll be back momentarily live from Cleveland. Spending your Valentine's Day with the one you love the most, the game of basketball. It's HP at the half. Chicago with the lead against Cleveland. The offense has been unreal. Defense incapable of stopping it. Through two quarters, Derrick Rose in complete control. At the break, 21 points and also sharing it around with a few assists. And for the Cavaliers, it's been all hustle. Teams on fire, torching the rims. Just take a look at that field goal percentage. A big half for Antoine Jameson. We're at halftime and still he hasn't missed a shot. It's been a pure shooting exhibition. Some great basketball in today's game from these two. They've carried the scoring load so far. And that's it for us here at 2K Sports Studios. Hope to see you back next time. And we welcome you back here to the Quicken Loans Arena. Great aerial shot back here in Cleveland, Ohio. Welcome back, everyone. Let's resume play. Here's Rose. Nine-point game. Now, the Bulls had to battle some injuries last year, but it didn't slow them down one bit in their rampage through the East. Carlos Boozer missed time early. Joe Noah missed a large chunk of the season as well, but it didn't slow them down. So the Bulls five right now. Carlos Boozer and Joaquin Noah, they're inside. Derek Rose is out there with Richard Hamilton, and it's Butler in at the three spot. Now let's go to Doris Burke, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the Bulls have developed a bit of a blue-collar mentality and approach that seems to fit right in in the Windy City. Joaquin Noah liked the identity. Quote is saying their identity should be tough, quick, grind it out. who we're playing, we're going to pick you up, we're going to play defense, and we're going to be gritty, and we're going to fight. All things that add up to a lot of wins, guys. Thank you, Doris. Chicago loves a gritty team in any sport. Yeah, I think this team really kind of personifies uh, what this city is about. They're blue-collar, they're tough, 
Uh, they're defensive minded, and that's why these fans in Chicago have fallen in love with this team. I really don't like what I'm seeing in their last couple of possessions, Kevin. That's two turnovers in a row, careless turnovers at that. Now they're getting a little casual with the ball. They've got to nip that in the bud right now. There's no. when he gets to the basket like that. If you can't foul him in time, just get out of the way. Stevie talked about the injuries. Boozer, Clark, uh, you come to expect it a bit with the Bulls, uh, but they didn't miss a beat. They had the depth to make up for it. I mean, Boozer's injury clearly was a problem, but then Noah was out for a while as well, and they really missed his length and activity, particularly on defense and on the boards. Could you imagine their record if they had stayed healthy all year? Wow. They'd probably been close to that 70 mark. Yeah, absolutely, you're right. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt about it, giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they're playing with so much energy offensively, the ball is really moving. And slammed in by Ferrishan. They got on this roll wide. protect the ball. Exactly. When you surrender the ball like that, you put your defense at a huge disadvantage. Now, here is Irvin. 12 points for him. Here's Parker and Cleveland again with the bucket. Look at how they've been scoring the basketball and it's really fun to watch them because all the baskets are coming off assists. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, they're a much more efficient team when they make that extra pass. When they get in trouble, it's when they're taking quick shots. That's five shots without a conversion. A very tough start coming out of the half. He only had one mistake prior to halftime, but he's starting to get a little sloppy there offensively. Here's Irving. Carlos Boozer signed that big free agent contract with Chicago before last season and then broke his hand before the year even started. But, but he came back, got healthy, and became a strong presence, and the Bulls had a great season. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Sessions. Six points for him. And uh, the officials call the foul, reaching out and committing the intentional foul here, and his teammates are baffled. Yeah, everybody's kind of looking at him like, what are you doing? I, mean, I, I think he just lost track of the situation. And here is Irving. Passes it to Ienga for the lead, and that one's good. Five points in the game. You know, just to follow up on what you said there, Steve, I mean, injuries have been an issue for Boozer over his career. I mean, he gives the Bulls a, a, a low post presence, and they've needed that for years, so I think it can be a good fit for him. The Cavaliers trailing. Stolen by Bogans. Lobs it up there. Deflects the pass. Pushing it up. Here's Jameson. The rebound by Gibson. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. Yeah, Steve and Kevin, you guys got to love this teamwork. I mean, and slam and done. Wow. Now the sprite slam cam for the replay. Come on now. I didn't see that. Can you believe that? <laughs> Oh, a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of it. Oh, that'll be a fan favorite, all right. That was not your average typical dunk. Tough season last year for Cleveland. A disaster, really, losing LeBron James and then uh, falling apart as a team. In fact, they couldn't even succeed against the weaker Eastern Conference, going just 15 and 37. So hard not to go for it when you see that chance at the alley-oop. Betty wishes he hadn't. On the top of the key, that is good. 
Urban's got four points now in the court. Back to the Cavs, you know opponents could smell blood against them for a while, too. Yeah, and I mean, they went through a stretch where they lost, what, 20, 20 plus games in a yes, row? Yes. And, you know, teams were desperately trying not to be the team that ended that losing streak. So they had a lot of things working against them, not to mention um, a depletion of talent and personnel from, from, from prior season. With a coach, a brand new coach in Byron Scott, who was used to winning. Yeah, no question uh, about a that. Tough environment. Yeah, it was. Very difficult. Is a three and hit on the basket. Hook it. 12 points for Jameson. You give him any kind of space, he's going to knock that down. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. I'll tell you one thing, it's really hard to go from winning no playoff series in one year to a championship. That is a big jump. Only two teams have done it in the modern era. That's what the Bulls were up against last season. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Gibson. Hamilton comes in for Keith Bogans. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for C.J. Watson. It's stolen by Rose. There's the block. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Twenty-nine seconds left in the third. Irving. And the layup falls. Irving's got 16. These guys know each other well, clearly, because that was a beautiful pass. Here's Rose. He flies to the bucket and lays it in. And the Bulls lead by three. Finger roll. That's pure style, guys. I like that. Here's Irving. He's got 16. He's covered by Rhodes. Irving with it. With four seconds on the clock. Again, the Cavaliers score. Yeah, I think defensively, you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, he's been a handful. On its way from an unbelievable shot at the buzzer. Boy, this guy. as calm as can be even with the clock ticking down to zero no pressure you gotta love the composure huh? he just didn't seem rushed at all he just took his time and knocked it down that concludes the third quarter it continues to be an exciting neck and neck game a fantastic game from Derrick Rose in this one well it's the concentration defensively the anticipation the quick hands he's really been a force a, a disruptive player today yeah, that's a good way to describe it, disruptive, and he really forces you to pay attention to him at all times. You can't be looking around and not protecting the ball when he's around. It's the Bulls. They're up by three. Still getting underway here in the fourth. Let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Our Spark Award goes to the Bulls bench. The reserves have stepped up in a big way and made the most of their limited minutes, something that could be the difference in this basketball game. Doris, thank you. That bench setting in motion a whole different rhythm to this battle, Clark. Yep. Coach knew he needed a spark, and they were the answer. Well, you can't measure how valuable that is, guys. To be able to get uh, that production... Uh, from deep into your bench, I mean, it really, really saves your team on a night like this. And it's rejected. And they keep possession. Caspi for three. Another three for Cleveland. And no 
other board just continuing to add to that big rebound margin. And it's a bit ironic, guys. I mean, you would think the score wouldn't be so close the way they're dominating the glass. But this one is still in the balance. We've got Manny Harris. Samardo Samuels is out there with Anderson Verajal. Then it's Daniel Gibson, and it's Caspi in at the three slot. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. That's good. Just an unbelievable display of offense here today. Well, it seems like every shot that goes up finds its way to the hoop. I mean, every player is sharp and on target. Stolen by Boozer. For the finish. Throws down the breakaway jam. Tell you what, they were in full attack mode there on that fast break. I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they got right after it. Here's Gibson. And Rose picks him up defensively. Timeout called the Cavaliers. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Gentlemen, Byron Scott had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He said to his players, we've come too far not to come out on top. Don't deviate from your role. Simply do your job. Guys, back to you. Thanks again, Doris. Cavaliers making a switch here. Irving's checked in. It's a look. Shot's good by Gibson. Gibson's got four this quarter. And they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. And Rose picks him up defensively. Caspi for three, and another three for Cleveland. They come right back with the triple. Eye for an eye. How about a three for a three, Steve? And Noah backs down. Here's Butler. And he makes good on the layup. And the Bulls lead by three. Well, I like that he's come up with some big baskets for this team to help him out in getting this lead. Irving kicks to Gibson. Three pointer gets it to go. That's now six straight points off open threes. Get a hand up, fellas. Pay attention to the scouting report. Well, uh, you know how quickly things can go south when you start giving up wide open looks to this team. Rose gets the bucket. Once again, he's able to knock down the long range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. Irving kicks to Gibson. He dishes it to Samuels. It's stolen by Rose. Look, and slam down home. Another look on the Sprite Slam King. Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That <laughs> is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. And stolen by Hamilton. And he lays in the alley -oop. Now it's a seven-point Bulls lead. There's a pretty play. The feathery lob pass in there, nicely done. That's exactly what he did. Laid it up there beautifully. Yeah, no mistakes on either end, and a great touch on that layup. Now, here is Irving, covered by Hamilton. Here's Irving. Bullseye! Irving's got 20. Boy, this is a shooting exhibition.
action, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. Boy, that did not look good, Clark. I'm not sure how soon we'll see him back. Yeah, I'm with you there, partner. I mean, that's the last thing anybody wants to see, that kind of injury. And the Bulls making a change here. Gibson's checked in. Antoine Jameson's checked in for the Cavaliers. Sessions comes in for Gibson. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They'll be playing by seven. 143 left to play here in the fourth. And the Bulls making a change here. Gibson's checked in. Here's Irving. He's covered by Rhodes. Tipped. Puts it up. Verizhal's shot is good. And saw just a little bit of daylight and went right to the rim. Right side Rose, Fader on the way. That's good from Noah on the assist by Rose. And the Bulls lead by seven. Now here is Irving, guarded closer. Goes for the alley-oop and finished off by Noah. Wow, that's great. You take advantage of that turnover and convert at the other end. Absolutely. I mean, points off turnovers this time generated off the steal. One sixteen left in the fourth quarter of this one. The dish to Casper. Front pass the arc, and that one's good. He has looked very comfortable from three point land today. Well, the bulk of his points, that's where they've come from. Leaps for it, out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Kurt Thomas, who's checked in for Taj Gibson. Tipped away and stolen by Irving. Things starting to get sloppy for him out there. They just aren't taking care of the ball the same way they were earlier. Inside. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Bulls. Here is Rose. No high post. Blocked. Rivera Zhao. A strange trend here, guys. They're totally controlling the glass, but they still trail. You get the feeling that one is going to correct. Either they'll lose their edge on the glass or catch up in points sooner or later. We'll see. Irving. It falls! And now they trail it by just four. And that's an intentional foul. And the Bulls making a change here. Thomas is checked in. Thirty seconds left in the fourth quarter, and so they foul intentionally. Seeks the first one, and that puts them up by five. Taj Gibson's checked in for Kurt Thomas, and the second one is off. This is a huge possession. You've got to execute under pressure. We're going to see what they're made of. Irving nails it. What a beautiful shot to put him to within three. He's just so clutch. Here's a guy you want on your side with the game on the line, Kevin. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Well, not much of a choice there. They pretty much have the foul. Yeah, that's the only option they have to try to get the ball back to even this thing up. Perfect from the line. It's a five-point ball game. That'll do it, Kevin. Those last free throws were the icing on the cake. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They trail by five. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? Well, what they'd like to do is get a quick shot 
and then go for the foul. And then they've got to hope, Steve, for some missed free throws as well. Yeah, the official all over that one. That's a good call there. You gotta give credit to the official there. I mean, being in the right position to make that call, that's what they get paid to do. He hits both from the strike. Here's Rose. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. I know you have to foul, but uh, you don't want to hit a good foul shooter like that. Yeah, you'd much rather have somebody else get to the line than this guy. He's an excellent free throw shooter. Two for two, and it's a five-point ball game. Talk about a clutch free throw cap. That one just might have sealed the game. Tries it from the top of the key. From deep. Off the mark. And so it's Chicago winning this one. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was. And I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Derek Rose.